this opportunity that we can be together once more on this platform to offer our prayer and our supplication to the Most High God. We know that the word of the Lord says, they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. They even they shall be saved. And the eyes of the Lord are upon us and his ears are open unto our cry. The righteous will cry, they will call and the Lord answers and saves us out of all our troubles. And so this evening, again, we come with confidence, knowing that we serve an able God. We serve a God who cannot fail. And we know that we serve a faithful God, a God who keeps his promises. And whatever he says he will do, we can be assured that that is exactly what he will do. As a matter of fact, he will do, he can do more than we think that he can do. We, he, he can do exceeding abundantly above all that we may ask or think. And we thank God this evening that he has given us the spirit of power, of love, and of a song mind. So we thank God this evening that it's not in ours, but it is in the power of the Lord. And we can do nothing without him. And so we are grateful to be together once more, where we can call upon the name of the Lord for various situations, and we know that God hears and answers prayer. As a matter of fact, he is the one who told us to ask, and we are going to receive. Seek, and we will find, and knock, and the door shall be opened unto us. And so this evening, we gather to do just that, and we just give God all the honor, the glory, and the praise for allowing us to be together once again, that we can fellowship with each other, even though it's virtual, but we know that God is ever present. He's present everywhere. And wherever we are this evening in our homes, in our, on our jobs, wherever we are, we know that the presence of the Lord is there with us. And as long as God's presence is with us, that's all that we really need because we know that we are going to get all our petitions answered, heard and answered. So we give God all the praise, the honor and the glory that he so deserves this evening. And we will begin our evening's devotion at this time with our opening song. Our opening song is number 44, He Lives. And that will be done this evening by Sister Celia Simpson and Auntie. So over to okay. you, Sister Celia. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is living. Whatever man may say, I see his hand of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, He's always near. He lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives. 
salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. In all the world around me, I see as love and care. And though my heart is weakened, then never will despair. I know that he is busy through all the stormy blast. The day of his appearing will come at last. He lives, he lives, he lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Rejoice, rejoice, O oh Christian. Lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujahs. To Jesus Christ the King, the hope of all who seek Him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, he lives, he lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how. I know he lives, he lives within my heart. Amen. 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 Thank you Amen. very much. He lives, he lives within my heart. And we thank God that we serve a living Savior. He is living. It doesn't matter what anybody says, that there is no God. We know that there is a Savior and he's in the world because we see his hand of mercy so many times and we hear his voice of cheer when he comforts us in the times when we need him. And we know that whenever we need him, he's always there. We can attest to that this evening. We know that he, he loves us and he cares for us. And even when we grow weary, he is there to lead us through all the stormy, storm, all the storms that we may ever face. He's always there to lead us. And so we truly, as children of God, need just to rejoice, rejoice in the good times and in the not so good times. Just rejoice as believers in Christ. Lift up our voices and sing because we know that he will never leave nor forsake us. So we bless God this evening to know and are assured that he lives and lives within us, in our hearts. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He lives. We have our opening prayer now by Deaconess Joan Andrew. Our opening prayer, Deaconess Andrew. What a friend. Heavenly, <clears throat> Heavenly Father, gracious Lord, 
is we believe in children come once more and again before your throne. We come, Lord Jesus, giving you praise, thanks, and honor. Because we know you live. And you live within our hearts and mind. And we thank you for who you are. We thank you for all that you have done unto us. That we can say, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege this evening that we can carry everything to you. And we thank you that you is a gracious listener. You're listening to our silent prayer. You're listening to our open, our open prayer. And we lift you up because we know. We don't know no other but you. Because you can do all things. You can make all crooked paths straight. You can make her with smooth. So we thank you, dear Lord, that we can sit in our home. You make a way where there is no way that we can even sit in our home and sit on this Zoom that you still could hear us and you could look down upon us and we are gathered to, together in one accord. That we, so we give you praise. We honor, we honor you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for who you are. Great is thy faithfulness this evening. We thank you for all that you have done unto us and what you have still about to do because you tell us that you will never leave us, neither forsake us. Oh, we give you praise. We honor you this evening. We glorify your name there, Lord. Lord, Father, God, this evening, Look upon each and every one of us who are on this platform. You know our problem, you know our, you know our burden, you know our pain. Look in our home this evening, oh God. You know everything there, Lord Jesus. So I ask you, Lord Jesus, at this hour, to look down upon us with your yearning bowels of compassion. And we ask you to take charge this evening, whatever may be sickness, whatever the problem may be. We know there is no problem and all that you cannot solve. So I bring all of us who are on this platform who to come in and who sit on the job. Meet us with your meeting spirit and lift us up this evening because we know we're serving a risen Savior this evening. We thank you for the Almighty this evening. Sister Muslim, by name, dear Lord, we thank you for that daughter. Lord Jesus, I ask you to continue to take her to higher heights and deeper depths. I thank you. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to continue to educate her there, Lord Jesus, that your, her light will shine so bright, not only in Trinidad, but throughout the world there, Lord Father. Her voice will be heard, and men and women may be able to draw in to know that someone there whether far or near, to call you blessed this evening. Lord Jesus, you know how she walk with you. You know how she talk with you. You know everything this evening about her. Look upon her home and family, her grandchildren, her children this evening, oh God. Father and God, I thank you for that woman this evening. What can I tell you about her that I don't know? You know everything this evening. Continue to pour your blessing upon her. Continue to strengthen her. Sometimes, Lord, I know she go weak. But you say when you are when we are weak, you are strong. So, Lord Jesus, I ask you to strengthen her. Continue to strengthen her. Let the host of God encamp around her, the dwelling of the church. Protection you for, for all those that make your name, your trust this evening. Look on and every sister, every brother. Never see this evening, oh God. Every pastor this evening, oh God. I lift them up this evening. Join us together there, Jesus. Take us for a closer walk with you. Lord, if we didn't know you, we need you now. And we need a friend like you. We need you for who you are this evening. Father and God, leave us, neither forsake us this evening. Father and God, this evening, I look at you this evening. Take us in your church, take our home. Our family, I bring my home and family before you this evening. Lord, I ask you to strengthen up this evening. 
help us to fight the battle. Fight the battle. You and you are our strength this evening. Now we can't do nothing without you this evening. Oh God and our Father this evening. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We glorify your name, dear Lord. Oh, son of David, this evening. When you see we are going weak, I ask you to strengthen us. We see weakness like, oh, Father God, this evening, have mercy upon us this evening. Take us in your charge, your care, and your keeping. Because, Lord, you tell us that a charge to keep we have, and a God to glorify, a never dying soul to save. And, Lord, we want to fit for the sky this evening, dear Lord. We want to hear when you call us. We hear, well done, thy good and faithful. Help us not to go weary over when, when we're doing this evening. Help us to put in season and out of season. Oh, God, grant us the strength, the courage, the understanding this evening. Help us to fight the battle. Oh, Lord Jesus, the battle is raging. But, oh, God, we know as long as we have you on your side, we will be able to win the battle. We will be able to overcome this evening, day, day by day, thank God. Oh, God, look upon our congregation this evening. Lord, I bring and Menard before you this evening. Lord, you know every one of us this evening. You know when I'm willing to serve you or not this evening. I ask you to bind us together with your cord of love this evening, oh God. Help us to wrestle like wrestling Jacob. Never to let you go until you bless our waiting soul this evening. Oh, son of David, we thank you that you take us from one year to the new year. And Lord Jesus, as you take us, I know their God and you will take us, they will see us through their God. We thank you for life. We thank you for life this evening, dear Lord, because without you, we couldn't do nothing. We couldn't give up ourselves life. So we ask that to strengthen us all this evening, oh God. Hear our prayer this evening. You're saying that's a long prayer this evening. But to say a book on a contrived heart, you will never despise. Have mercy upon each and every one of us. You know our need, you know our wants, you know everything concerning us, oh God. Sister Donna, this evening, oh God, I bring Sister Donna before you, Lord Jesus, one you had placed in the battlefield also to bring your word there, Lord. I thank you this evening. Oh God, Father and God, take her in your charge and you can keep in her family. Be Mike's family, oh Lord. Lord Jesus, you know. You know when we want something, you give us to us, Lord Jesus. We ask you to strengthen the Mike family this evening. Oh God, not only the young one, but the, the mother and father this evening, oh God, strengthen them. You see a family that prays together, stays together. So I pray, oh God, to strengthen them this evening. Leave them not to herself alone. Father and God, bless them. In, the, in all the undertaker, in the going out and the coming in there, Lord, because, Lord Jesus, we know going out there is not easy, and we dare not walk alone. You are our guide. You are our protector. Oh, God, have mercy upon us this evening. Take us all in your charge, your care, and your keeping, because we all have a charge to keep, and a God to glorify, a never dying soul to save, that we must be vigilant for this. Help us to keep our armor bright. That, oh God, men and women outside, they will see us and they will want to know what's happening. And we can see us by our walk, by our talk, and they can draw closer to you. In the dear name and mercy, say, Amen. You taught me when I pray to say, Our oh, Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And all that it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those that trust us against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thy man the kingdom for one the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. 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 We give God praise, honor, and glory this evening. Mother Joni said the battle is raging, and truly it is in so many different ways. But we know this evening that we don't have to, we don't have to get out there and fight for ourselves because we know that the battle really is the Lord's and he will fight for us. And we don't have, we do not have to be afraid or we do not, we do not have to wonder if 
we will win because we know that when God fights for us, he wins every time, every time. He's, he's never fought and lost. Never fought a battle that he has ever lost. He always wins. So we give God thanks this evening and pray so that truly we can come and really just cast our cares upon him because we know that he cares for us. We bless the Lord this evening and we will continue at this time with our, our scripture reading and our exhortation, which will be done by Sister Danami McLeod Ford. So over to you, Sister Ford. God bless you. And we continue to, to pray as we wait to hear what the Lord will say to us this evening. Over to you, Sister Ford. A pleasant good evening to you, Sister Marcelin, and all my sisters and maybe brothers on this platform this evening. This evening, I want to take a short lesson from Genesis chapter 19, verses 1, 2, 12 and 13, 16 and 17, and 24 to 26. Genesis 19, and we... And I begin, and there came two angels to Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot seeing them rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground, and he said, Behold now, my Lord, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, nay, but we will abide in the street all night. Then we go to 12 and 13. And the men said unto Lot, hast thou here any besides son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place for we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord and the Lord had sent us to destroy it. And 16 says, and while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him. And they brought him forth and set him without the city. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And 24 to 26 says, then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone on fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the earth on ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. I rest at verse 26 while we join together in saying glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, now and forevermore, amen. My topic this evening is choices we make. Making a choice means we have options to choose from. And the end results will usually show or tell what choice was made. The right choice always produces life while the wrong one produces death. Mistakes all sometimes made, makes, sorry, mistakes are sometimes made along the way to making the right choice. But God, because he is patient and want all of us to live, he gives us chances with the hope that we will come around. God understands our human nature even better than we do ourselves. So even when we are told that we are in the world but not of the world, he knows we need his help to do this. Our natural environment or living spaces 
often dictate our behavior, making it easy to adapt to what's around us. We could become comfortable and accept the state we are in. So choices need to be made. Either the choice to reject God and his offer of life or the choice to accept him and receive life. We need to choose. We have, we are told in Deuteronomy 13 and 17 that God will show us his mercy and have compassion on us. And even in Psalm 25 and verse six, David asks God to remember his great mercy and love as of old, meaning God has always been merciful and full of love towards us. He demonstrated this to our forefathers and he has not changed. In the account of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, we were not told anything about Lot's wife, spiritual standing. We know for sure though, that she was a prosperous woman and she enjoyed a good life. We cannot say that she participated in the sin of Sodom, but just maybe she learned to tolerate it. Lot's wife was given a chance to be saved by God, but the choice she made led to judgment rather than mercy. She was not given a name in the Bible's account, so truly she can represent any one of us. Are we willing to make the same choice like she did? It is easy to say and believe that we as we are accepted, as we, since we have accepted the Lord as our savior, that we are better than Lot's wife. But remember, we are still striving for perfection and we are still flesh. God challenged Abraham, Lot's uncle, that if he, Abraham, found 50, at least 50 righteous people in Sodom, he, God, will spare the city. Imagine, not even 10 righteous could be found. So God sent angels from heaven to destroy the city. True to his character, God never destroys a city without a warning. He loves his handiwork, which is us. The angels told Lot what they were about to do, but he gave Lot, they gave Lot the opportunity to leave with his family. They told him, run and don't look back at the city. Keep going forward. This lesson is for us. When we leave a life of sin, we do not go back to it. Instead, we look to a new life, a new path. The angels of the Lord forcibly took Lot, his wife and daughters by their hands and led them out. But his wife looked back and became a pillar of salt. Sometimes God creates situations to make us go his way. But even so, we defy his lead and do our own thing. We were never told what caused Lot's wife to look back at the city. What caught her attention? Was she leaving any family behind? Did she have regrets about leaving the prosperous life behind? Or was she simply looking back at the spectacle of the burning city? We don't know, we were not told. We, unlike her, still have a chance now to make that right choice. We strive to put God first. We accept his mercy, the mercy that God offers to us, mercy that will save us and give us life abundantly. The only reference of salt that should be made of us is we should be salt of the earth, where we make a difference in lives. We should be kind, gracious, and we should comfort and console the lonely and encourage others. Even in the New Testament, in Luke 17 and verses 30 to 33, Jesus urged his followers to remember Lot's wife. 
He said, remember her faith, simply saying, make the right choice. We are advised here that when the Son of Man is revealed in the last day, we are to leave all behind. Whoever tries to save his life shall lose it. But whoever shall lose his life for Christ shall preserve it. It's a pity that making the wrong choice sometimes separates family and sometimes create even further sin as is recorded of Lot's daughters. Each one of us has the same option available to us for making our choice. There are two roads before us. We need to choose one, heaven or hell, make a choice. The choice to make the right choice lies with us. It may be difficult to endure changes in our lives, but God is our help. Joseph is a good example of making right choices. Joseph was human just like us, but he, he depended totally on God. We know his story of slavery, but he never separated himself from God. He made a choice to choose God and to follow his path in spite of the challenges he faced. Joseph was tempted by Potiphar's wife for sex, but instead of giving in to her, he actually left his coat in her hands. He did not look back. He flee because he made the right choice by avoiding the evil, God was always with him. God worked it out for him in every area of his life. The choice he made was clear. He walked in a righteous manner so all could see. As Christians representing Christ, we need to choose life. Seek God for his guidance so we make the right choice. It is necessary for our very existence. No sin is worth losing our life for, as sweet and enticing as it may be. For those of us who continue to make the right choices, God, God bless you. God's strength continue to keep us. For those of us struggling to choose, may we seek and petition God for his help also. We cannot do it alone. It is easy to look back, regretting past decisions, mourning our lost opportunities, or even missing relationships that ended. Trust me, give them over to God, but don't look back. Let him help you. Leave the past behind, enjoy the present, and plan for the future with God. God bless us this evening. We thank God this evening, and I pray that um, I, I am always thankful for being used. I pray that God will bless our hearts this evening and that we would have learned something from this message. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sister Ford. Uh, I want to feel that I can speak for all of us this evening, I'm sure that we would have learned, we would have remembered something. And uh, God's word is really life. His word is spirit and it is life. And uh, truly, every time we hear, we, we, we may hear a story or read a passage of scripture that we have heard or read before. And you know, like every time you hear, there's always something fresh and new in it. And that is truly what God is all about. Always teaching us something new. And you know, um, Sister Ford, thank you so much for reminding us about the choices that we make in life, even as we go about as children of God. You see, Solomon reminds us, he said, trust God with all our hearts. Don't lean to our own understanding, but everything we do, acknowledge God. And when we acknowledge God, we will truly make the right choices. You know, and 
as you said, we don't know what Lot's wife's name is. It was never mentioned. She was one of those persons whose name was never mentioned in the Bible. So that can be anybody. It can be any one of us, anybody. She made a wrong choice. And you know, you, you look right back at that and you realize how, you know, the fall came because of disobedience, you know. Disobedience, a simple instruction. We're going to destroy. God says he's going to destroy. Run, escape for your life. And when you're going, don't look back. Don't look back. How hard was that? Don't look back. An instruction from the angels, escape for your life. Run, get away fast from here so that you will not be destroyed in all the destruction that's going to be happening here. And we see that she made the wrong choice. We saw that she could not even obey that, what we will look at today as a simple instruction. Don't look back. She looked back. And as Sister Ford said, we don't know what, what was the reason why she looked back. We don't know what made her look back. We don't know. We don't know. We, we, we can speculate. You know, sometimes you, you're going, you, 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 we are going and you, and, you, and you look back to see if, if your family there with you. You look back to see if the children were there or something. The instruction was, don't look back. Don't look back. Just go, just go, get away from here, get out of this place. This evening, we truly thank God that you say he is, he is full of mercy. We thank God this evening that we serve a God who is merciful, who is loving, and who is kind. We thank God this evening that we have good examples in the scripture, because she will stand, we will never forget. As a matter of fact, the word of God tells us, remember Lot's wife. So Sister Ford, the word is reminding us this evening, remember what choice you need to make as you go along your life. You said the right choice always leads to life. And the wrong choice always leads to death. So thank God this evening, we all here choose life. And we are going to continue to look to God, stay close to him so that we will always make the right choices in our lives. We bless the Lord this evening, we want to remember for, be remembered for something good, you know. Because when we, when, we, when we look back and we say, and, and we read in the word, remember Lot's wife, it's not been, we, we don't remember her with much joy and, 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 and happiness and, and saying that I want to be like her. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, it's the total opposite. So we want to be remembered, but we want to be remembered as a servant of God who obeyed God, who made right choices so that we would inherit the blessing that God has in store for all of us. Thank you again, Sister Ford. God bless you as you continue to study his word to show yourself approved. We thank God this evening. May God bless all of us on this platform as we continue our meeting. Oh, Sister Dolores, Sister Dolores has to sing verse one and the chorus of To God Be the Glory. Over to you, Sister Walcott. Pleasant good afternoon to each and every one. To God be the glory. Great things he had done, so loved he the world that he gave us his son, 
We live life on atonement for sin and open the light gate that will make a win. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory great things he had done. Amen. So at this time we want to just we want to go into prayer. So we have some our prayer concerns this this evening. We are praying for the sick and the afflicted ones. Uh, remember Deaconess Philip in your prayer this evening when we are praying for the sick, Deaconess Philip. So we are praying for the sick ones, whether you're sick in body, soul, or spirit. We also pray for our country and by extension the world with this uh, pandemic that we are still living through. We are now two years into it and we thought that we would have been out and we are not seeing any end in sight right now. So we continue to look to God to keep us safe and that we pray that, the, that people will be obedient and do the right things that this pandemic, this virus can be contained at least and not continue to spread as it is. Also, we have families that we are going to be praying for, families in every various situations, children, husbands, wives, abusive situations, everything, uh, people, families in need and everything that God will supply, provide and, and whatever they may need. We continue to pray for our communities, for the saved, for the unsaved, for the backsliders and all those who, well, we all need prayer. So we are praying, these are our prayer concerns for this, for this evening. If you have any other special prayer concern, you can let us know and, and we will add that in as we go into prayer this evening. So we are going to go into prayer right now. We have a song and then we have, um, let's see. Okay. All right, yeah, so we have a song this evening. Our song is What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Sister Radine will sing. After Sister Radine, we are going to have our, our prayer by, Sister Walcott will pray for us and uh, then we'll continue. So we'll have Sister Radine sing verse one and we'll have prayer by Sister Walcott. Over to you, Sister Radine. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, Lord. Sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often for of it. Oh, Hallelujah. 
What a friend. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our griefs and sins to bear. What a privilege to carry this evening. Everything to go and pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you, O Lord God, thanking you, O Lord Jesus, for your grace and your mercy that has kept us alive up to this present time. And I thank you, O Lord God, for all that you have done for us, what you're doing and what you're still about to do. Because you tell me in everything, Lord, we must give you praise and we must give you praise. I praise your name this evening. I glorify your name because you alone, O Lord God, is worthy of all the praise. And you alone, O Lord Jesus, is worthy to be held in everlasting counsel. Because you are the Lord of Lords and you are the King of Kings. You are the ruler of the whole universe this evening. You is a God that sits up high and you look down low. Father, and this evening while you're looking, oh Lord Jesus, Father, come bring in every petition that has been brought forth before you this evening, oh Lord. Lord. Father, the sick ones this evening, oh Lord Jesus. Father, the deacon that is sick this evening, oh Lord Jesus, I pray you're going to reach out and you're going to touch her this evening, wherever you, she lies this evening, oh Lord. Lord. Father, whatever the, the situation is, whatever the condition is this evening, oh Lord, Lord. Father, I bring her before you in your thankful hands, oh Lord, Lord. A daughter of yours this evening, oh Lord Jesus, I pray this evening, oh Lord, Lord, you're going to be with her, oh Lord Jesus. Father, you're going to heal her this evening, oh Lord, God, because you tell me in your word that healing is the children's bread, oh Lord, God, and by your stripes we are healed this evening, oh Lord. Father, come bring in Trinidad and Tobago before you, oh Lord Jesus. Father, those that are in authority, oh Lord God, I pray this evening, oh Lord God, you're going to help them to make decisions, oh Lord God, Father, that will help the people, oh Lord Jesus. Father, you know everything concerning each and every one, oh Lord God. Father, you know the ones that is that is protesting, oh Lord God. You know the ones, oh Lord God, that is for and the ones that is against, oh Lord Jesus. But I pray this evening, oh Lord God, you're going to bring us, oh Lord God, with one heart, one mind, oh Lord Jesus. Father, give us one understanding to understand what is taking place, oh Lord God, Father, because it is not here alone. It is all over the world this evening, oh Lord Jesus. Father, this pandemic is all over the world, oh Lord God, what some of the people believe, behaving, oh Lord Jesus, as if it is here alone, oh Lord God, and they and who for and who against, oh Lord God, but I pray this evening, oh Lord Jesus, you're going to help them, oh Lord Jesus, to understand, oh Lord God, what the people that is in authority, the government that is in authority, oh Lord God, is trying to do. All the government is trying to do is save lives this evening, oh Lord God. Father, you reach out and you touch them, you speak to them, oh Lord God. Oh, blessed Jesus. Father, help us to help them to understand, oh Lord God. Father, you give them the understanding this evening to understand, oh Lord God, that what a precious thing life is. Life is so precious this evening, oh Lord God. Father, you help them to understand this evening, oh Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed Savior, with their attitude and their ways, oh Lord God. All they are doing is going down a, a dangerous road. And there are some people in authority, oh Lord God, that is just in them on, oh Lord God, but I pray this evening, oh Lord Jesus, you're going to give them a heart and a mind, oh Lord God, oh blessed Jesus, with the understanding that all they need is to encourage the people, oh Lord Jesus, encourage them this evening, oh Lord God, to do the right thing, Jesus, oh blessed Savior, Father, this evening, oh Lord Jesus, I come bringing communities before you, oh Lord God. Father, I come bringing communities before you, O oh Lord Jesus. I come bringing homes before you. I come bringing the young people before you this evening, O oh Lord Jesus. Father, you tell me to win your word, O oh Lord God. No one's come to you except the Spirit draw them this evening, O oh Lord God. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus this evening that you're going to draw the young people this evening. I pray you're going to walk through the communities this evening, oh Lord God, and you're going to touch hearts. You're going to touch minds, oh Lord God. Father, oh blessed Jesus, walk on the block, oh Lord Jesus. Father, don't I believe, oh Lord Jesus, that they have no hope, oh Lord God. Father, I know that there is hope in you this evening, oh Lord Jesus. Father, there is hope in you this evening when all else is lost. There is hope in you this evening, oh Lord Jesus. Father, you talk to them, oh Lord Jesus. Father, you touch them, oh Lord God. Father, you let them to understand that when they have no one else to turn to, 
they can turn to that you is the answer this evening, oh Lord Jesus. Father, when they try everything else and everything else fail, help them to realize that you is the answer this evening, oh Lord God. Father, even my own this evening, I bring him before you, oh Lord Jesus. Father, you know everything concerning him, oh Lord God. Father, you know everything concerning him this evening. Help him to acknowledge, help him to acknowledge, oh Lord God, that you is God and beside you there is none other. For that servant of yours, oh Lord God, he was there, oh Lord Jesus. Father, he was brought up in the church from the time he was small until he became a young man, oh Lord God, got baptized, oh Lord Jesus. And he just turned away, he just walked away from everything, oh Lord Jesus. I bring him before you this evening, oh Lord God. Father, whatever is troubling his mind this evening, oh Lord Jesus, I know that you have the answer this evening, oh Lord Jesus. But I know that you have the answer this evening, oh Lord God. But I pray this evening, oh Lord Jesus. Wherever he is, you're going to reach out and you're going to touch him this evening, oh Lord Jesus. But I'm all other young men like him this evening, oh Lord Jesus. I bring them before you, oh Lord God. Father, you tell me, oh Lord God, in your word that they have to serve you while they're young and they're strong, oh Lord Jesus. Father, we need the young men, oh Lord God. We need the young men this evening, oh Lord Jesus. So you draw them to your bleeding side this evening, Lord. You tell me the harvest feelings are right there. The harvest feelings are right there and the laborers are few, oh Lord Jesus. You draw them this evening, oh Lord God, because we need them, oh Lord Jesus. We need them, Lord. Father, we are on the way out and we need people to carry on this work, oh Lord Jesus. We need them to carry on this work this evening, oh Lord God. So you reach out and you touch them, oh Lord God. Father, when they sleep and slumber, pray, oh Lord Jesus, you're going to touch them wherever they are, oh Lord Jesus. Trouble their sleep, oh Lord Jesus. You touch them tonight, oh Lord God. Oh, blessed Jesus, I am a mother. I come crying out on their behalf this evening. I come standing in the gap for them this evening, Lord Jesus. Oh, merciful Father, have a mercy on them this evening, Jesus. Because my mercy is my only plea for them this evening, Lord. You touch them this evening, Jesus. You make a way for them where there seems to be no way, oh Lord Jesus. But I help them to realize, oh Lord, God has a charge to keep their heart and a God to glorify. An ever dying soul to save this evening that must be fitted for this sky, oh Lord God. Touch them this evening, oh Lord Jesus. But any hindrance, oh Lord God, in their way, every stumbling block, I ask you to move it away this evening, Jesus. But I'd help them to cry out to you, oh Lord Jesus. But I show them what a joy it is to be in you this evening, oh Lord God. What a joy it is, oh Lord Jesus, to serve you this evening, oh Lord Jesus. You be with them this evening, Lord. Oh, blessed Savior. You touch them, oh Lord Jesus. You touch them in a special way this evening, oh Lord God. Oh, blessed Savior. Oh, blessed Savior. Hear my prayer this evening on their behalf, oh Lord God. And when you're here, I want you to answer Jesus. Answer this evening, Lord. Answer this evening, Jesus. Oh, blessed Savior. You touch them this evening, Lord. You touch them this evening, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That name that is above every other name. That name that is joy, that is peace, that is love this evening. Oh, you tell me this evening at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord this evening. Father, you is Lord over their lives this evening, Jesus. So you take over for them, Lord. You take over for them, Lord Jesus. And you direct their every pathway, oh Lord. Lord, oh blessed Jesus, you direct them this evening, oh Lord Jesus. Father, you know everything concerning each and every young people, oh Lord God, in this country, oh Lord God. You know them all, oh Lord Jesus, Father, because you created them, oh Lord God. You created them, oh Lord Jesus. They didn't create themselves, oh Lord Jesus. So I pray this evening, my humble prayer, oh Lord God, that you're going to draw each and every one of them before you, oh Lord God. Father, you bless them and you keep them, oh Lord God. Oh, blessed Jesus. What you see, I fail of asking unto you this hour of my prayer. 
I pray you're going to grant it unto me in the next hour of my prayer. No one forevermore. Amen and amen and amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Praise and bless and glorify your holy name this evening, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thank, Thank you, God for you, Sister Walcott. Thank God for your prayer. We continue. We continue praying. We have Sister Radina sing again, and then somebody else pray, please. Right after Sister ne uh, Radina is finished, somebody else pray. Go ahead, Sister Radina. Ah, we try us and temptations. Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be this you for your goodness we thank you for your grace we thank you lord that you are with us at this point in time touching our hearts guiding our thoughts to heavenly father and taking care of us we give you all honor glory and praise because you continue to be god in every situation you continue to be our strength our hope and our everything we continue to guide and direct us, oh Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, that no matter what, we know that you are God and will always be God. Lord, help us to seek you, oh Lord. Seek you more and more each day, dear God. Help us to seek your hand, your direction, your will, your comfort. Help us to seek you in everything, O oh Lord, your guidance and instruction, dear God. Help us, O oh Heavenly Father, to share even that with others, dear God. Touch and support other persons, O oh Heavenly Father, whether it's just our family unit or beyond that, dear God. But we want your your Holy Spirit to take over, take over our day-to-day -day activities, take over our plans and thoughts of the Father. You want your Holy Spirit to, to spread over this nation, dear God, to touch and reach those beyond saved, dear Heavenly Father, those in governmental law, those in the judiciary, dear God, to direct the justice system, dear God, to direct the national security situation, dear God, that, that your will will be done in this, in this place, dear God, that your thoughts and your plans of Heavenly Father will be carried out of the Father, even in the businesses, dear God, everywhere, dear God. We ask that your Heavenly Father will continue to teach us we seek, oh Heavenly Father, we comfort, oh Lord, to so many persons who have lost their loved ones, dear God, even for the Barclay family as well, and so many other families too, dear God. We seek your comfort in every situation in these homes. We seek your will. We seek your will, Heavenly Lord, to accomplish everything, O oh Lord, 
you can think that we haven't thought about to Lord what we are not expecting, Lord, but we'll, as we give it all over to you, that you will show up marvelously, that you will do excellently, just as you always do, oh Lord. But sometimes we don't put you in the, in the situation. We don't release the situation to you for you to do what you can. So Lord, help us to release our situations to you that we wouldn't go about it in the natural. Our plans would be based on the, the world's theory and knowledge. Our speech, our thoughts would not be the status quo of what we've always done, what everyone has always done, what somebody else has eloquently elicited that should be done, dear God, but that our plans, our thoughts, our future will be on what you say. So help us to surrender all. Surrender each and every day, each and every moment. For you to be glorified in the situation. For you to show up and show off. Well, that we wouldn't just call you for a problem, but we will call you just because you are our God. Lord, help us to take every day as a glory unto you, dear God. Not for our purpose. The day is not for us, but that the day would be for you, dear God. So, Lord, guide our ways, guide our thoughts, guide our words, oh Lord, and help us to worship you, oh Lord, in spirit and in truth. Not in routine. But in spirit, and let your power, oh Lord, shine forth in this place. Touch each and every heart of that is present on this platform, oh Lord. Touch your families that are connected, oh Heavenly Father. Touch the friends, the communities, the workplaces. Just widen the circles, oh Heavenly Father, where your power will move. Lord, and let it all be done, Lord, through your Holy Spirit working in us. So, Lord, we give you all the honor, all the glory, all the praise, and we give you all of ourselves to accomplish what you would like to do on this earth. So, let your will be done in this day and always in just in my pray. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. We give God thanks for you, Sister Nids. And we'll continue. Sister Radine, last verse, please. And then somebody else pray, please. Are we weak and heavy? Combat with the Lord of care, precious Savior, still a refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise for sake? Take it to the Lord in prayer. In some still take and shield thee. Thou wilt find a solace there. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another opportunity to come before your presence to say thanks for your goodness towards us, for your loving kindness and for your tender mercies. Father, as we meet another time, Lord, we know that you are always willing to hear and to answer our prayers. So we come before you, Lord Jesus, bringing all of our supplications before you by faith believing knowing, Lord Jesus, that if we ask by faith, you are willing to hear 
and to answer. So we thank you that we have this opportunity to come before you, Father, this evening. We ask that you look upon families this evening. Lord Jesus, as the foundation, a good family, Lord, a family that prays together, a family, Lord, that stays together, Lord Jesus, and works together. I know you are pleased with that. But Father, we know that there are issues in some families, in all families, but we ask Jesus that you will come in and that you will hold families in your hands, that you, Lord Jesus, you may knit and tie love together. Help us, Lord Jesus, to work together for good, Lord Jesus, and we know that you are going to bless us. Father, this evening we pray not only for our families, but we pray for families in our communities, Father, this evening, blessed Jesus, we ask that you draw your people close to you because this time that we are in, Lord Jesus, we are closer than some of us think. Oh, Lord, may you draw your people close as you can bear you, that they will come to know you as Lord and Savior. Supply the needs, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord, to work together to help your people so that they will see you living in us and that they will want to come to know you as Lord and Savior. Father, have mercy upon your people, your people who need you more than ever before. Take charge, Lord Jesus, of families. Then, Father, we pray for those who would have backslidden, those who would have known you, Lord, and they would have left for some reason. Father, help them to remember, to remember the times that they spent with you and help them to want to come to know you again, Lord Jesus, to return to you, Lord Jesus, because we know you are always willing, Lord, to accept us when we ask for forgiveness. Oh, Lord, draw those who have left the fold, draw them back to you, blessed Jesus. Help them, Lord Jesus, to know that there's nothing in this world but shame and disgrace. And we know, Lord Jesus, if they come to you, Lord, all will be well. So we thank you, Lord, because we, we are looking, Lord, for intervention in the lives of your people. We thank you because we know you are going to do it because we are asking you by faith this evening, blessed Jesus. Father, have mercy on your people, the sick ones. Lord Jesus, remember them at the doors of mercy. Deaconess Philip, Lord Jesus, you know everything about her. You know, Lord Jesus, what she needs at this time. We ask that your Holy Spirit just attend, Lord Jesus, and then you supply her needs. Oh, Lord, when she call upon you, I know that you are going to answer. Hear her cry, Lord Jesus, when she calls upon you. Father, you know everything about her. Leave her not, Jesus, in this time, but may you comfort her, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, if it's your will to heal, we leave that in your hands because Everything has to be done according to your will this evening and not our will. But we pray, Lord, that you will make her as comfortable in even her sickness, blessed Jesus. We thank you, blessed Lord, for all that you have done for us. We thank you for answered prayer. We know, Jesus, that the God that we serve is able to do much, much more than we are able to ask. So, Father, this evening, we leave every situation in your care because you are a God, Lord, who is a God of situations. You can solve those problems that we can solve. You see the end before we even see the beginning. But, Father, Lord, you're waiting for us to just ask just to reach out and touch you. And Lord Jesus, you are willing to answer. Father, may you take charge of your servants. And Father, may you draw us closer to you. Help us to truly understand who you are, to understand your love for us. Father, we leave everything in your care this evening. Bless our effort this evening as we meet time and time again to call upon your name, Jesus. We do it not because we have extra time, but because we know that you are our only hope. 
So we thank you, Lord, for your goodness to us. We thank you, Lord, for your answered prayer. And we thank you for all who's on this platform this evening. Draw your people close. Help us to be good examples to your people. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you. And we continue to praise your name because we have asked it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Thank you, Sister Pam. We bless the name of the Lord. And we are coming right down to the end now. And we just want to give God all the thanks, the praise, the honor, and the glory for all our hymns and songs and our prayers that went up to the throne room this evening. And we continue to just give God honor and glory as we wait with expectancy for the answers to our prayer. We know that he is answering. We know that God is answering. Sometimes we have to wait longer than we want to but we continue to trust our mighty God and our God who knows timing way, way better than us. He does everything in the fullness of time. So we bless the Lord this evening and we'll now have our closing song by sister, by the mics. They're going to sing the closing song and pronounce the benediction. Over to you. Yes, oh, yes, oh, I believe the longer conflict. Oh, yes, I prove victorious. Thy God shall fight for me. Trust on, trust on. Transform the morning dawn is near. Trust on the days of and faith and strong is near. Over life's dangerous robbery, he shall thy vows Trust on, trust on, though the noise and dread, trust on, trust on, the morning dawn is there. The Lord is drawn to save us. He is a faithful friend. Trust on, trust on, believer. Oh, trust him to the end. Trust on, trust on. Trust on, trust on, the morning dawn is near. Trust on, trust on, the dawn the rise and dread. Trust on, trust on. The morning dawn is near. Now in the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Lord of God and the pleasure of the Holy Spirit, as in our Bible, the soul of no one for everyone. For every day, the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, without end. Amen. Amen.